Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan, and the last episode for Jodie Whittaker is fast approaching, and we have a bracket of sorts for the release date. And this is the first time I've been excited to watch a Jodie Whittaker episode since really since the beginning of her era, and it's all because I get to watch the bitch die. Normally, I want to be talking about such scant news as what is revealed in this article and others like it, but I just wanted to celebrate that we're getting so close. BBC confirms that it will be in October. The last episode of Jodie Whittaker will air in October, and based on the way they were saying it, I'd imagine it'd be around the Halloween week time frame. So... <laughs> We're getting close. I just needed to celebrate that with you guys. Otherwise, I would not be talking about this. This is barely what can be constituted as news, but we are getting close. And there's some interesting things that are revealed here and in another article I'm going to be going over. But overall, the for those of you who don't remember, the, the last episode of Jodie Whittaker will be flushed with so many different characters, creatures, monsters, everything that you can imagine. It seems like the new strategy for this episode is rather than improve the writing or improve the the character work or anything like that just stuff it with so much stuff stuff it with so much nostalgia that p fans will just be so distracted by stuff going on that they won't realize how poor of a quality it actually will be because the master is coming back the daleks are coming back the cybermen are coming back and then there's going to be the doctor and yaz who apparently she'll confess her love and they'll get together for like five seconds before she regenerates and they're separated or something like that. They won't stay a couple, but I think they'll have a few moments of being a couple. Isn't that so empowering? And then Dan, he's just going to be standing in the background with an awkward face. And then there'll be also these two returning companions from the classic series, Tegan and Ace. And Tegan is one of my favorite classic who companions. She's my favorite Davidson companion, especially when the two of them are alone. They're great together. But yeah, this plan seems to be chock -it full of so much stuff that... It distracts the fans from how truly horrific it will be. But I will be watching it as it's live just to watch the bitch die. And I have been confirmed to be part of a big, big live stream to discuss it afterwards. Can't go into details about it now, but I'm really looking forward to this episode and that live stream. But it's from the BBC's chief content officer who says it will be in a week of celebrations in October. So it's going to be a whole week of celebrating her fucking death. They're going to be celebrating it for different reasons at the BBC. We're going to be celebrating it because she's almost gone. She's almost gone. Dr. Karen is almost done. And then we can move on. And, you know, a, a lot of fans have already moved on. And most fans aren't looking forward to the Russell T. Davies era, myself included, because of a lot of the stuff that's been happening, a lot of the news that have come out about that era. Some people, very few people, are still looking forward to it and hoping it might come back. But I, I feel like a lot of people will be excited about this just because it feels like we need a little bit of justice. We need a little bit of catharsis for how bad this era was. And hopefully she, she dies painfully. Her regeneration, hopefully it's not pretty. And hopefully it's horrific for her character because we all just need to see a little bit of catharsis, a little bit of revenge against what she and Chris Chibnall, who will also be leaving at this episode, did to this beloved franchise. So I look forward to this. And October really isn't that far off. So I think I can wait that long. I think I can wait, what is it, a month and a half now? Two months before the release of this episode. And I, I really can't wait to watch her burn. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here, I want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you. Check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.